If you do look at uh, global warming and you look at the severity of storms, clearly uh, insurance companies are the first responders. So uh, if you just go back to the uh, horror of, uh, of Katrina, the insurance companies were the first ones there. They responded quickly. Any type of increase in severity around storms and, and, and things that we're starting to see through global warming really increase the, the exposure that we're going to face uh, as an industry and all of us are going to face as humans across the planet. So this is, this is something that uh, is very important to us as individuals, as, as members of society, but from a business perspective, it's absolutely essential because those changes are coming and the impact of those from an economic standpoint to the industry, but of course to all of us as citizens are significant. A sense of scale, I assume at the moment this is a relatively small segment of your right. business, but can you give us an estimate of about how much? Yeah, we, it's, it's probably right now from a percentage basis, it's uh, on the commercial business, uh, I would guess, uh, and I should know this exactly, but I'm, I'm going to say we're probably around about 5%. Okay. So it's, a, it's, it's small but growing. Uh, so it's, uh, it's probably a little less than 5%, but it's a, uh, it, it really, again, is, is when you look at these businesses and, and the folks on our team who really deserve all the credit for this, uh, they are looking at emerging industries. They're looking at opportunities uh, where the business is growing. And so while the numbers are small today, uh, we're very confident they're going to uh, really be the fastest growing part of our business. I mean, we are seeing subdivisions uh, that, when, as again, the, in the current economy, there's not quite as much construction, obviously, as we were seeing pre-2008. But uh, at that time, and as things start to happen again, we're seeing in, uh, entire subdivisions that are being built green, uh, literally whole subdivisions. And so the, uh, the opportunity uh, in the personal line space is happening as well. Right now, it's primarily a replacement uh, uh, opportunity is the, is the biggest opportunity in that space. But you can feel the tide changing. Uh, you can feel the fact that uh, awareness has, has really started uh, to skyrocket. And it, it varies a little bit by some of the industries, there's certain industries and certain uh, type of commercial uh, areas that have probably gotten into the space a little more aggressively. We've already mentioned, for example, uh, the universities and school <laughs> systems, uh, uh, hotels, the, the uh, inter entertainment industry, quite frankly, but the, uh, the hotel industry uh, is, is another area that has been pretty strong here. And so we're starting to see that shift from uh, us having to push these products to quite a bit more on the uh, on what I would consider the pool side. The best thing way for to move the uh, this issue forward is for businesses to step up to the plate and, and take the initiative. Uh, you know what businesses tend to do, unfortunately, is wait and wait and wait, and then they get mad because the government's forcing an issue down their throats. And the reality is that we have an opportunity to reduce the carbon footprint. There, there's all kinds of opportunities. And the, the, the thing that makes me most frustrated is that to do those things, they're not only doing the right thing, but they're, they're good business sense. And quite frankly, they're good for society and your employees who care deeply uh, for the most part. I know they do at Fireman's Fund and, again, have a passion around this, like to see that happen. So uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's really disappointing to me that we haven't made the type of progress. And, and I realize the economic uh, Recession's been tough. We have to be fair about that. It's, it's tough to make some of those investments and, and make some of those decisions uh, in these troubling times. But at the same time, you've really got to have a long-term vision and not be worried about quarter-to-quarter -quarter decisions. And these are the type of decisions that will pay larger benefits uh, in, the, in the future. And if we just raise that awareness a little bit, I think our chances of having some success in the space uh, become significantly greater. And companies that have green buildings in terms of a return on investment, their uh, occupancy rates are higher, uh, their uh, turnover obviously is less, their costs of running uh, the building are less, the value of the building uh, is higher, their ability to attract uh, employees uh, is higher, and when you put all of that uh, together, the, their losses are less, which means their insurance is going to be less. And when you put all that together, the ROI on this is positive. We're in the business of protecting risk. We protect people, homes, automobiles, businesses. 
we're a financial risk protection organization, and it's a great business. I mean, the insurance industry somehow has managed to be the, like the worst PR people in the world because what we do is really important work, and 99.9% .9 of the time we do it really, we're, there. we're really there for people. And as we look at climate change, we realize that uh, this planet's at risk from the standpoint of much more severe weather, and that severe weather costs lives, it costs buildings, it costs homes, all the things we protect it raises exposure in that space. So it's a very straight uh, and direct line between the decision to get into the space and the reality of our business.